All right. Oh, where did I put the mic? I need to move that. I haven't even got my lights on. All right. Today, uh, you see me, sort of. Um, today, we are making a COVID mask. Like, oh, it's over here somewhere. <sighs> I don't have a camera on either. I swear I turned it on. I don't know if I want to turn on the phone. So. That doesn't help. There we go. So, oh, I need to have a light. <laughs> Dole lemonade crafted with real sugar and All right, juice. so COVID mask. Unlike the rest, with don't just elastic. Don't work for it. You can do it without Let's elastic. It looks like that. And try it for but with elastic, you can take it on and off Publix. easier. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. And. Uh, I still need to turn that down. Silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few. Share your favorite things this holiday with Frito Lay. Alright. So, COVID mask. Partially my own design, partially. It technically is a combination of three masks I found on the internet. This one's actually three layers. I'm going to show you how to make a two layer mask because that's all you really need. If you think you need more, well, you can add a third layer easily by cutting the pattern. And where did I put the pattern? Clear over there! Out of my way! And I am like not prepared at all. Scissors. <laughs> So you have to forgive me a minute while I get everything all set up. Oops, I had to knock the mic over. mic back up and why is my tablet just showing nothing okay let's put this back where it belongs this doesn't like to stay there at all. Okay, so I called this um, spool thread. It's actually cone thread before, and. Uh, It 
it's nice because you can get it cheaper than the <coughs> spools and doesn't run out of these. It's usually for sergers, which I have, but I'm not using. I'm just showing you how to do it. It's a regular sewing machine. You can also hand sew. I'm a hand that I don't hand sew very well, so you're not gonna see me hand sewing very much. But on the machine, I'm a whiz. I was taught by my dad, mostly. So kudos to him. He died a few years ago. So he's not around anymore. My mom died this year. I'm not sure from what. It could have been COVID at the early stages. We don't know. They said that she thought she had something weird. Um, throat cancer. But cancer doesn't really run in our family at all. I mean, I know you can get it without it being hereditary, but... Okay. So... Threading up the machine. Come on, it's just a pull tight there. There we go. That feels a little tight. There we go. Now, if you can't see your needle, you can always use a threader. Some machines, my other machine, which isn't working at the moment, needs to be realigned, has a self threader, which works pretty interestingly. You wouldn't think it would, but it does. And I had a pair of scissors to cut my paper with. Uh, I don't know where I stashed them. Scissors, because you know, fabric scissors, you only use your fabric scissors on paper. It's bad. It wasn't in my thing I was using yesterday. This is the pattern. Um, I have it below, a link to it on my DeviantArt page, so that you anybody can get it, anybody can use it. And let's see if I can find my scissors really quick. I don't want to cut with any of those. So these are my old sewing scissors, which I still stay sewing on them. Eventually, I need to get them sharpened, but you know, just have it. So, I'm just going to cut along here. And these little diamonds. We're not going to cut out, we're going to cut in. A little less fabric use, a little bit, you know, a little bit easier to work with. So, I printed this on a sticker paper. I hate to suit that tissue paper that I put, um, um, patterns on. It's awful. And this is a pretty big mask. It's, you can scale it down. You know, just, you know, by reducing the percentage when you're printing it. But I made it so that I could... You might want that because it's been a while since I made these. Um, it's... I made it so I could breathe. I have asthma. And you can, it, it'll go under your chin. You can lift it from your chin a little bit so that your air goes down your neck. And you actually can get better air that way. My husband doesn't like it, but maybe I make him a thinner one. Maybe this thinner one he'll like.
these little, these are where the pleats are. I mean, they don't have to be absolutely perfect, but they help. There. All right, so there is my pattern. So what we're gonna do is what do my iron? <laughs> hmm. What do I unplug? It's plugged in light, light. Oh, that's a sewing machine. Now. Now. Oh, this outlet over here. Change my desk around, my table around. So I'm making my life difficult here. I know what I can move. I plug the camera in behind me. Cause it's got a nice long cord. I'm not supposed to be better prepared, but apparently I'm not. All right, iron. That iron cord that I'm sitting on. Yep. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Oops, pour water on myself. So iron, um, it says, you know, you put tap water in there, but you really should do distilled water. It'll last longer. We've got this nice red um, cotton stuff here, fabric. Yeah, my brain's working. What we're going to do is we're going to... Hold it a bit. Go for the pattern. This is the finished edge that they did. So that's a good way to make sure your cloth is even. When you line it up, you just bottom, put the bottom on the fold. Make it big enough. Yeah. Hold the whole piece of fabric because I only need you to get this width. So. Good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make life a little easier. We're gonna iron it. Even my 
ironing board it's a little weird. It's kind of got a homemade cover. So my other one is kind of not good. And it to buy a new cover for this thing cost almost as much as the freaking ironing board. So just kind of cut some towels a bit, cut fabric a bit. So apparently I need to quilt it a little bit because it's like All we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten this edge nice. Neat. And you can do this with a bandana too, but the bandana fabric, this is quilting fabric, and it's a little bit denser, you know, tightly woven. You could also use, if you have old sheets, old, you know, tightly, you know, some of those old cotton sheets that are, you know, got all those, you know, multi-million, um, pleats going, or, you know, multi-million, you know, the 1600, 400, you know, all that thread count, you can use that. It's all the way. We aren't going to do anything fabulous here. We're not going to, um, I'm not going to uh, cut all the little triangles out. The concept. Line this up with this edge because it's a nice square edge, and the bottom where I where I hem. And my scissors here. And it doesn't matter what color thread you use. I usually use black, but I couldn't find it, so I got color that's similar to this. Yeah, you know, black underneath until the bobbin runs out. And I'm just holding this down when I'm cutting it. And then I'm going to cut along here. Stop waiting for a minute. If you want to make it easier, you could fold it, not iron it this time. Fold this so you know your center is. Make sure you have good sharp scissors. It's kind of a pain without good sharp scissors. Then you can just do this. Now, if you have a problem with it holding it still, just pin it. Pin your pattern on, doesn't matter if it's a thick or thin. Apparently I'm having a hard time holding it still. But you don't have to be absolutely perfect when you do this. It's close. So that's our basic part of the mask, which that's that's here that I don't need. So I got that. Now I need, what was my sizing here? I don't think my stuff is 36 wide. Did this before. Not 
here how smooth my cut is. My side looks a little smoother, a little straighter, maybe. Not nah, with worse. So you can either do two pieces or four pieces at two by eighteen or you know two at thirty-six the top and bottom for the ties. Ties are a little bit bigger too. And then some for the side. My straight fit if it is. Twenty. Oh, well, that'll work. It's 38 we need some of it. So we're gonna kind of estimate two inches here. This is not an exact science. Alright, so two inch. So Instead of drawing it out, measuring it every time, all I'm doing That'll work. Make sure it's two inches on this side. Not quite. Okay. And I have fabric measuring tapes, but again, measuring tapes, measuring tape, or ruler, or whatever you need to use. So, what I'm doing, once I got my first one, I can do the rest pretty easily. My original pattern was on a gridded material and it was easier to do, so you have to bear with me here. Which I killed it, the first mask I made. I accidentally uh, spilled hydrogen peroxide on it while I was doing stuff and I remember why I have hydrogen peroxide here. So I thought, well, you know, I need this in the morning, or I need this in a little bit, so I, I'm just going to iron it dry. Or in the morning, yeah, I guess it was morning. So I ironed it dry. And it kind of burned the hydrogen peroxide in there. And it, the next day, all I was breathing was hydrogen peroxide. I had a sore throat for two days after that, so don't do that. It's bad. Just let it dry on its own, don't turn it into distilled water, or, you know, rewash it. So, put it in the light. Because hydrogen peroxide, you know, breaks down with light. So that's three. We're actually going to do five, so that, you know, I have one I have a little bit extra to do the sides. And this is a little bit more complicated mask than most of the masks, just so you know. So if you don't, you know, want to do one quite like this, then, you know, you can use these instructions to do a simpler one. It's just that this. is what I designed and thought I needed. Which I haven't been using it to be honest. But I should be because apparently the mask I bought from it's got those little plastic things on it. Well apparently the CDC says that's bad. And 
I kind of like those. They have like a five layer filter. It's not an N65 filter, right? You know, but. Neither is any of this, and it's really, you know, they're saying save the N65s for, you know, either elderly, people who are sensitive, and, you know, for healthcare workers who are exposed the most. So. I didn't design these to put a, a filter in them, so if you want one to put a filter in, that's a different story. There's a nurse online, I forgot her name, just look up, you know, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to put the link down below if it's still available. She has a really good mask, you put a filter in. That's what I'm doing. So I'm not even folding this last one, I'm ironing this last one. And I'm just going to follow the line. Where, I, where my fold is. Like I said, the pat link to the patterns below will be there for you know, ever. And when I put it on YouTube, it'll be there too. And if you nip your, you know, other fabric, you can cut it anyway, you're okay, you're the rest, you know, the rest. And if they're not perfect, like, you know, you can see that it's kind of not perfect, and try it's okay. You know, you're not winning, you know, any sewing things with this. You're just trying to have something that works. My elastic on the other side, so when I have the elastic, I have to show you. I have to go grab that too. And when I bought elastic, I brought you know longer elastic to buy it, so I can cut it in here and put it in before it you know frays too much. So it doesn't really work for you know by itself. That should be everything I need to make this mask, other than I need to sew and cut the rest of this. So now I have nice little cut lines because I ironed it. Hello, Chewy. And I'll tell you right now, one of the problems with the pleated mask is when you wash them, they kind of need to be ironed to work properly. I mean, it's just the way it is. I mean, you can leave it as is, but they kind of look kind of weird if you don't iron them. I don't know, there's probably plenty of videos out there, but there's not a lot for, you know, the bigger masks, so, that I know of. So this one I designed to be a bigger mask, because like I said, I have asthma and I need to be able to breathe. just the thing, so when I get it down, I'll see if my husband likes it better. Give him a different one, but it's not very big. What I got at Walmart. Because for, he works, he, he does delivery, so he needs to wear a mask for that. I 
And this one might just be a wee bit. I don't know. This is the the ties are also great if you have glasses instead of the ear loops, so your ears aren't sticking out to Timbuktu. But I've noticed you really the bottom, the ones on the bottom, it's better if it ties on the top of your head, and then the top line tying to the back of your neck seems to work better. It also seems to work better if I have my hair in a ponytail, hold the top there. That one on top up better. Also helps me stay cooler. Yeah. And you can put earpieces on these instead of. Doing uh, ties in the back. I don't know how well it works. I haven't done it yet. Music is by Harris Heller. He uh, has free and copyright free music for streamers. And in my phone, I'm using Droid Cam X. I actually paid for it, that's the X part. If you want to test it out, just go download the Droid Cam and try it out. Um, it lets me use my. Uh, Let's me use my phone as a camera for streaming, and I think you can actually use it if you don't have a PC or the equivalent. Um, not positive, so I think one of my daughter's friends is using it. Can't touch the thing without knocking the mic over. Get rid of a few things. Nobody I know is online, of course. So that three viewers, so hey, thanks for viewing. She is on. She's watching. My youngest daughter. She's decided that she wants um, a cover for her 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 uh, blender. She has a KitchenAid Mini. I think that's my, actually what mine might be too. I'm not sure. Um, and I need to make one for mine anyway, so might as well make it a stream and make her one. Get some cool quilted material or make my own. Well, I don't want to make quilted material. That would be a bomb. But get some cool quilted material and see what I can find. Go find something. And then, you know, maybe put a layer of, you know, something heavy duty. Like Joanne's, which, you know, they're very, very, very Christian. Which kind of makes them a little close minded, unfortunately, but I still shop there. We don't carry, you know, things like for Lenora or anything, or anything for anybody else's holiday. Michael's used to, but I don't know, we don't anymore. Kind of sad. Because we used to carry, you know, the menorah and a few other things. And we don't now. We do carry some jewelry stuff for other religions, Indian religions. Star David and stuff, but you know, nothing major anymore. It's kind of sad, actually. I mean, if you cared more, you'd have more people shop, you know, different religion shopping there. But, um, Joanne's, you know, I drifted off subject totally. Joanne's has clearance fabric they import in. And it's cheap, cheap. 
I mean, stuff, some of it's like $30 a yard stuff for, you know, 2 to $6 a yard. So I can get like some upholstery fabric for the outside and use the quilted stuff for the inside. I do two layers because my original one had some heavy duty fabric with a cotton layer. But, you know, a mouse got into it and I couldn't, I tried to wash it and I just kind of, all the cotton kind of fell apart. So I wasn't really happy about that. Alright, so I have all my little streamers here. Put it out of the way. And we're going to iron them first. So, we're going to make these easy to use. Fold them in half. And this will help us out in the long run. We'll just line up the edges and iron it. You know, it's easy. Be a little off, you know. You won't be too far off, but you know. If you're a little off, don't like stress over it. You can tell, you know, it's not very you can tell in that view. A little ragged, don't worry about it, nobody's gonna see it. So, we're gonna do all of these. It's gonna make our future easier. Iron is your friend. If you don't have an iron, you can do it without. It's just this just makes it easier. But you can get an iron for around 10 bucks, 12 bucks. I think I got this one for 10. Because I was doing masks, and I realized now the iron was doing so good. Then I dropped this one on the carpet, and you know I got burn marks on it. I tried to sand some of it off, but you know, the carpet was bad. So I bought this. It <coughs> cost almost as much as my iron. <coughs> <coughs> so I have a place to sit it. So when it tips over, it's not gonna you know melt. It. I have a place for it to fall on. And not melt. Whoops. I don't want it that far off. You can also cut with one of those rollers and ruler sort of thing. Might make your life easier. I haven't been real successful in using them, unfortunately. So, I have two. One I haven't even opened the package yet. I got it in Clarence a couple years ago and just when I want to try it out, I just never remember where it is. It's, it's bad. I have to check my tablet every so often. We've been having internet problems, so I don't want to get booted. I got booted yesterday while painting Mr. Dragon over there. Because Windows was supposed to do an update while, you know, well, between certain hours, which is you know, when I'm not using the computer. And I decided not to the day before. And so when I was streaming yesterday, when I hit just after my three hour mark, it decided to kick me out. We're doing an update now. Hey, thanks. And today, it's been a little twitchy. So I had to reset the internet. So hopefully, there won't be any problems, and hopefully this will go quickly. I don't know what time is it? Wow, I've been doing this for a while already. We're just cutting out. 
gonna go quick once we get to the stone part. Let's go out west, camp at the base of a mountain, get some fresh air. Yes, let's go camping. With air conditioning, elastic. I can be hundreds elastic. of miles away from the closest Yesterday, person. Oh, we live off the grid. Love the off the grid part. Yeah, I'm using the lawnmower on my carpet. Whether you're the serious camper, <laughs> I have the elastic with my point. back. Here. Ascend offers low rates and flexible terms on our and back You can apply it. online at ascend.org or any of our branch locations. RV Loans from Ascend <laughs> Federal Credit Union. All right, so this is my elastic. It's twice as wide as I need. So I did start shredding it, but see, if that's what my vacuum did to it. Okay, so this is heat and bomb. Use Wonder Under or whatever other brand, or just you know some steam tape. I've never used this one, so. I don't know where my open one is. I like Wonder Under a little bit better. Because it's uh, a little thinner. This one reminds me of hot glue. What we're going to do, we're just going to... Fold. Uh, could do a little thin. And you could... I don't think I need it quite that wide. This is unnecessary, but it helps. This is not a must do, but I found that it makes my pleating a little bit easier to use it. And it doesn't have to be, you know, the perfect, exactly the same width all the way down. You don't want it too wide. It looks like I got about a quarter inch, so seam tape would probably work better, but I don't have it. And you know, technically this is cheaper and I can you know I can cut. I'm only doing one mask today, so. Oh no, I can do it now. I don't need to. Oh, I didn't mark my where my pleats go. <laughs> so unhelpful. Okay. This is one of my chalk ones. This is my chalk one. So I bought chalking things, but I like these heavier metal things better for drawing. So this is just a limestone chalk thing. And I'll spread a little bit when I ironed it. So more completes. I'm just gonna put a line there. And this will wash out, it's not like a marker or anything. So, got my cleats marked.
I'm just gonna cut a little triangle for each of them. You don't wanna go too far, because otherwise that'll go past where you're sewing. Which is why I kind of made them small in the first place. But if you cut them in a little triangle, um, you can't see it. Um, see if I can zoom in. So just cut them in a little triangle. You don't want to go much further than the quarter inch, less you can think you can get away with it. And uh, that'll give you where you're doing your pleats. And all I did, uh, I mean, all I did was a line. I didn't even draw the triangle. Just a line. So that that top of that line is pretty much the center of my triangle. And you, even if you're hand sewing, you still kind of want those marks. I know a lot of people bought sewing machines because of masks. And I know you can just, you know, go to Walmart now or Target and all those other fun places and buy them for, get two masks for four dollars. But like I said, this is a bigger mask. So I haven't seen any bigger masks for sale. Maybe I should specify that in my video, that it's a bigger mask. Oh, it's uneven on that side. That's because I'm using the wrong damn scissors, that's why. Sharp scissors make a difference. <laughs> Trust me. And I got these, I mean they're not expensive scissors, they're like eight dollars and I got this these little teeny scissors I can't even use because my hands are getting Of this because we're getting useless. Okay. Oh, I might need some more. Well, we'll see. And if you have a right side of the fabric, make sure you know, the right side is this way. You don't want the wrong. I mean, especially if you got a print on it, you don't want it to be the inside of the print sort of thing. I probably should cut that, but whatever. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it on there. Some of them require steam, some of them don't. I don't know what this one requires. It's going to get steam, so. I'm supposed to press it on there for like 30 seconds or something. But I'm not going to. Oh! Yeah, that's it. Drop it on the plastic. And yes, I've gone over my pleats here. I guess I don't need to go all the way down just where the pleats are. Folds, whatever. Come on, be on the edge, please. 
All this does is makes your life easier when you're doing the pleats or folds. Cut another piece when we get to the other part. A little bit of cool paper. Back up, make sure it's you know, where it needs to be. I don't like getting it out of my eye. What do I got? Oh, I got something. Oh, well, I'll just use a piece of this. Oh, yeah. All good. Usually I have a towel or something over here. I didn't want to get some of this adhesive on my iron to burn and cause problems. Scorch my uh, put little marks on my uh, fabric. I even did a bit. For over 100 years. Well, it's close. But what makes us different isn't just how long we've been around. It's how far we're willing to go in pursuit of the perfect cup. We select only the finest beans and use over four generations of family roasting experience to give you the richest, most delicious coffee around. Find Community Coffee at your local grocery store or visit communitycoffee.com to order some today. Alright. Okay, so I have on my pattern how to do the pleats. Because I forget. This folds down. So we're going to fold because we want it to uh, have the flaps go on your, under your chin. Seems to work better that way. So we're going to start this one. We're going to fold it up. Please. 
and those little triangle marks make it great so you know that you're lining your pleats up correctly. And don't worry if they don't look absolutely perfect. And nobody notices, really. As long as they're close, you should be good. Might look like they're slightly off. Careful, the cloth gets hot in your eye. Alrighty. So, we have the beginnings of our mask. Second, I'll move it. I guess I should cut out, cut my elastic. So, I'm going to do the elastic. So I didn't, these instructions weren't exactly originally made, you know, for elastic. This was a afterthought. Because it makes it, you know, once you tie it, it makes it easier to, you know, get it on and off. So what you really want, what size is this? This is 3H. You want something narrower. <laughs> What we're doing, kind of cutting it down a little. So, if you make a mistake, I did. You can work with it. This won't work if you're doing it around your ears, though, without some sort of covering, because it will fray. Looks fine while you're working with it, but after a while, raise. Not quite cutting it exact center apparently. So I'll have to use like the bigger one for the bottom or something. I keep trying to figure out where to keep my mic so you guys can actually hear me. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. I moved the camera so I'm actually facing you guys. It was on my monitor. I had this tripod that came with this that I bought a phone holder with so I can use it for taking pictures. It has a little picture taker thing too, but I don't know where it is. And, uh, on. This. So it's really your choice of how much you want the elastic to stretch. I'll just a smidgen longer than this one. I wouldn't do it too tight because then I'm getting uncomfortable and be kind of a pain. Okay. I have way too much of this elastic. It's one of those things, get it, you know, overnight from Amazon. You know, really cheap. Three bucks or four bucks or something. And uh, I didn't pay enough attention to the size. I was trying to get, you know, 
narrower elastic. mic wrapped around the machine so that you know when I touch the machine I knock the mic over. Which is unhelpful. Alright, just to show you when you're using comb thread you need to have some place for it to go over because if you just try to do it over your machine it's going to be crazy. So I've got this little easel set up, book easel. You can use anything that'll get it above your machine. Will work. Um, you can even rig some sort of wire hanger. I don't know. Right now, this is what I have. I used to have a cone that went over it, plastic cone. But I really don't know what happened to that. It's packed away somewhere. In a little closer. All right, so first thing we're gonna do. Oh, please. We're gonna do that after. So this is my backside. We're gonna pin this to the backside you want. Fold be on the bottom. Oh, fold on the bottom, sorry. So this is my back side of my mask. You can line up a little past. And open it up. Open says me. Now, if you think if you didn't if you can't iron your plates or whatever you might want to pin your plates so that they stay I might just pin them anyway because you know you never know And you want to do your pins this way. If you can't do them that way, you need to have them this way. You head this way. Layer. So when you're sewing, it's easy to pull them out. Normally, I don't need this many pins, but we're just showing because most of you probably kind of need it. So you haven't really sewed before. We're going to start right here. So we're going to do this big line where 5 eighths is, but I think it's going to be a little too far for what I'm doing. We're going to do the 4 eighths, which is half inch line. Oh, wait, what's my measuring say? It says it's exactly an inch. Okay, so. Yeah, we're gonna do four eight. So we're just gonna go basically down the center. We're gonna go a little bit more forward. Hide my pedal. I'm gonna put it in reverse. So I reverse. Some play most of them have like a button you have to push. Um I like this better. Sometimes. <laughs> And just go slow. If you haven't sewed before, just go slow. Do a straight stitch. Doesn't matter the size. Really, not for this part. I 
Especially, you want to go slower this too. Even though, supposedly, this makes it harder to uh, break a needle. Well, I've done it. And you could technically leave those points like that. It was the holiday season in Germany, for they shopped at Kroger, where pickup was free. Sweet spiral ham, a salad so merry, green beans and Brussels, and cakes topped with cherries. May the magic of fresh food never be done. Happy holidays from Kroger. Fresh for everyone. Go with it in. That's just Wait, making your life easier. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Two garbages, I swear. I'm just gonna cut that there. We're gonna do the other side. Same thing. I have a tomato here. I velcroed it to my sewing machine. My mom always had a tomato and I always thought it was kind of cool. I know, if you've watched my videos before, I've said it before, but whatever. My sewing videos, that is. And I'm multi do I'm multi-talented and stuff, and so I do a lot of things. Not great, terribly great, great at everything. I mean, I guess I'm an okay artist, but apparently when I try to get hired on places that, I don't know, I'm not unique enough, I don't know. Alright, There. Same thing for this side. And let the machine feed itself. Use the machine, let it feed itself. Don't force it, don't pull on it. If you go a little past where you're, you know, working, that's okay. That's part of the reason why you get back. A lot of sewing machines have a little thread cutter in that. Not all apparently, because I have a couple that do not. Okay. Well, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Yeah, fine. We're gonna trim this bit. So if you need to do that. It doesn't want to fold over on my creases. So we're going to shorten this bit. Oh, my pinky chair is not so very sharp. These are new though.
So I'm just cutting about halfway between the edge and my stitch. Next zigzag stitch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna iron again. <laughs> you can do it without ironing, but he said it's easier. So what we're gonna do is first off we're gonna iron. I guess I should show you with the camera. So we're gonna iron where our seam is. And try not to hit your fold that you already have. You can pull it tight a little bit so it's like right at the seam. You really don't need to do much, just enough to flatten it. We're going to do the same thing over here. Just going to fold it in half. Ish. Iron it. Make sure our center seam is still there. This entirely is pinky chairs, whatever. I just I happen to have them. Michael sells them pretty cheap. They have, you know, expensive and cheap. Actually, the expensive ones aren't that expensive either, so. And that's one of those items I never have on sale, so. Now, this is our front. We, you know, got our, our thing there, our edge. We're gonna do a top stitch. Don't need to pin it unless, if you don't have an iron to flatten it, then I would pin it. And I'm gonna change my stitch width to like eight. You can do narrow, tight, or as big as you want, whatever. So we're going to do it back. And just, you know, kind of near the edge, but not over the edge. And the back side, I don't know how you can see that. You see the line is right there. But the front side, I've got the nice thread that's almost the same color. Cut that out a little bit. And the same thing on the other one. We'll zoom it in so you can see it better. And just let it feed. And if it doesn't like to move, you can use your thread, wrap the thread up here, just help it along. And if you're doing thicker, you know, multiple layers, more layers than two, it, you might just need to go slow because of that.
So, you got your mask. Partially done. So, you're getting there. Got your pleats taken care of. Now, we're going to put on straps. Basically, you want to find the approximate center of your strap. If you need to, you can mark it. Oh, wait, pleats. We got this other part done, so you need to do pleats. So, darts. You're going to call them. That's what I did. So, actually, cut them out. Now, if you want, if you use, like, you could use, you know, satin for your front, just make sure there's cotton in the back. So you would do two of these instead of a, on a fold. And that's my back, okay. So, what I did is I kind of folded it in half. And the longer one was on the bottom. You're on the inside, because that's where I'm sewing, is the inside. And I went and marked my dart with some sort of chalk marker. There we go. Yeah, that's not that chalk marker. That's nice. Okay. So. bottom. Maybe a little long. Cut short a little bit. I'm sure I'm doing this on the side that's going to be easier, but whatever. And this is going to be the nose one. A little shorter. So, with marks, that's your sew line. Get it folded in half. This, I don't want to sew, sew over the pleat. I, don't, I want that pleat to fold over. So let's go out west. We're gonna pull it out just a bit. Mountain, get some fresh air. Yes, let's go camping with air conditioning. Yeah, we this one's not gonna quite go on because I thought it was a little person. too long. Will he live off the grid? Love so. Whether you're the serious camper or occasional glamper, Ascend offers low rates and flexible terms on our You can apply online. I'm actually going back and forth on it a couple, a few times. You don't have to. Just do, you know, make sure you do the back course stitch. I just like my pleats to be better. If you think you can do it straight. If you don't think you can do it very straight, then don't worry about it. Just do your back and forth stitch, and which mine isn't very straight either, but there's one. And then we'll hold this up. I'm just parent. I have too many things for stitches come out on me and the nuisances, so store bought stuff even. So that's you know, why I'm more paranoid about something you want me to be using a lot of. So when you see when you pop that out, you've got your pleats for your mask. Oh, got it zoomed in. 
So now, I think there's something real different. So we're cutting these open. I did those wrong that night because I'm used to the third layer. Well, isn't that special? You may have to do something about that. Usually I do these on the inside. Or am I being efficient? Well, okay. We have to change tactics. Alrighty, step number one. I can see where my stitching was, so we need to open this up. You know, probably would be a little easier if I had two layers of two fabrics instead of, you know, one fold. If you're willing to fix mistakes, just don't get frustrated. You know, I'm kind of frustrated, but, you know, just deal with them. Mistakes happen. So. Always fix and learn from mistakes. All right, so one. I'll show you how to deal with that. I'm gonna have to scoop this open. Seam ripper, happy tool, or you could use, you know, little teeny scissors. So that, you know, whatever you have. Exacto knife. Exacto knife. You can be careful with. You know, cut yourself. Done it. Use exact knife, and I've cut myself with it. I do mess though. But you gotta be careful with exact knife because you might cut the fabric. Now sometimes your seam rip can rip into your fabric. So if you get rid of, you make a mistake and you have to unstitch. Go back and cut all the stitches on one side. And then on the other side, you can mostly pull it out. I 
then you can just get rid of your little pieces you have left over. So I'm showing you what not to do. All right. So I'm going to have get this open. I can do it all the way down now. Just far enough so I can do that pleat. Dart, whatever I called it. Let's see that's fine. This will not affect the effect of that, how well the mat, how to do the mask. So, let's see if I need to cut just a little further. You can cut it all the way down if it's easier on you. Just don't cut your, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to cover your cut. All right. Try number two. Got thread tangled. That'll be fun. This bobbin thread, you know, I'm gonna run out of bobbin thread before I'm done today. My other bobbin has weird satin thread in it for some reason. Okay, so inside, you want to do this on the inside. Line up your sides. It's a little easier, but to not cut. Uh, I can sort of see the stitches. You can, if you do the same mistake, you can redo them. The reason why the pleats suck on the if if you don't do the pleats this way, the threads from the pleats you end up breathing in those. Trust me, it's you know I did that. Or you can do it without the pleats. It fits better with the pleats, but you can do it without if you really want to. more. You're sewing on the inside of your whole little thing here, so make sure you're on the inside. Very important. And it doesn't matter which way you start the point, whether you start the point or the fat end, it's whatever you think works better for you. What you want to do is a better light. Move this. Okay. Should see that a little bit better. Zoom it in. Okay, so I'm going to open it flat. I 
and you want to do that with all four of them. And when you cut this, this part, you can have a little bit at the end that you don't cut that because it'll cause problems in the future. So just, you know, leave a smidgen. So, see, iron flat-ish. We we'll do the same with this one. of the hit podcast, Heavyweight. Each day, thousands of postal service workers so deliver millions of pieces of mail to all kinds of conditions across the country. Every postal service worker has a story worth sharing, so we've teamed up with the USPS to deliver a few of them to you. No postage necessary. Flat. Listen to stories from the USPS mailbag at gimletmedia.com slash USPS. And it works better if you spread it out. If you do it to one side or the other, it might feel uncomfortable on your nose. I mean, the chin one's not so critical, but you might notice it on your nose. Oh, I still need that. Where did I put the rest of my... need much of this for this part. This is just to help. So you don't need to do it. It's just helpful. So we're going to put this on the nose part here. Put it in. So right on the nose part. Just after doing a bunch of masks, I didn't even do this original. All right, I made my life easier. I'm gonna do one on the other side of the chin. Cool enough. Lid off. Line it up. Iron it. We'll see what this does. It keeps things lined up for you. You can technically use pins to do that if you wanted to, but this made things easier for me. I kept my flaps down too while I was ironing. And you can use wider, you can do it all the way across, but you really felt like it. I don't think it's necessary, just in the dark area. Did I fill it off? Well, of course I didn't. I 
I get it longer, I kind of split them so that they can follow the edge a little bit. Push through the edge. I don't have the camera aimed very well. makes it a wee bit easier when you're doing the other cards. That's why. So we've got that much. We got that much done. And you know, no various strings that are going to be sucking up here. You're going to be breathing. And I have found that you always get some sort of lint in here, so you might want to use tape your lint roller or whatever lint brush every time you wash them. Tends to be a new sands. Alright, these are our straps. We can not drop it. So we're gonna find our center. It doesn't matter whether you top or bottom first. Really. Your center mark is so you can line it up. So, inside. So, I'll start on the inside. So, you can line up with your pleat. going just a little bit above for this one because of you know my straps are apparently a little bit narrower than I had before. I don't know, people like the art better than they like the sign, I guess. But if you come in after the fact to watch well I really appreciate it. If you can Follow me, please. Let me get, you know, be able to earn money doing this crap. No, it's not really crap, but I really like doing all this stuff. Make me feel a little bit useful if I can make some money at it. I crap at my job comparatively. And I can't go to a job where I can actually make money because I have to Oh, I don't want to pin. I don't think I need to, but just for you guys' sake, we'll show you. Okay, make sure it's pink. Oh, we want it a little higher. Okay. So good. So I should paint it. You just make sure. You know, so inside your fold, inside of the mask, that's where you block layer inside lines. 
We're not gonna start at the end. We're we're just worrying about the mask part right now. Same thing, we're gonna do four eights. Maybe she gets smidgen less than four eights. My time machine has issues, I'm not sure how to fix. Just make sure nothing gets underneath. This might be a little bit easier for you. You drift a bit, well, not bad. Hey, thanks, Susie. I appreciate it. I don't know if she's actually on, but I appreciate it. I have to thank her on Facebook. on Facebook too because she followed me before I'm pretty sure it's the same Rhonda I know we should be okay because I went closer yeah. all right now we're gonna do the other side I'm not cut way too many of these. <laughs> That's okay, I'll show you how to join two together. I learned how to do it from some nurses video. I mean, I knew the basic concept, I just never remember where, how. Same thing, inside, inside, so you want your right sides together. I'll do this a little taller too, I'm just going back eight to each other. community coffee different isn't just how long we've been around it's how far we're willing to go in pursuit of the perfect cup we select the finest beans and use four generations of roasting experience to give you a rich delicious flavor look for us at your grocery store and online at communitycoffee.com and we're going to go a little longer than two hours which i said it for four but my husband has plans for today so We'll do what we can do. We're just going to do this one mask. I was going to sew, you know, just more sewing and other masks. But we really need to get our bathroom done. We've been tiling the floor and we have a new toilet we have to install, so. Pins. Pins are helpful. to see if she followed Bryce as well. 
Well, at least I know right away when I get somebody to follow me when I'm on. All right. And usually I kind of announce this on Facebook, which I didn't do today. So we're going to do this one at 3 8 It's a little trickier. So it's got that arch in there. So I should have done it from the farther side. So I can see it better. Let's hope I didn't miss. On the darts, if you want to go back and forth on the darts and reinforce those a little bit, you can. Let's see, did I miss a little? So let's go back over here and fix that. I'm not going to bother, you know, unstitching it. It's just, you know, right here. Nobody's going to see it. This one too, just the layer that's sticking out. So what we're doing is we're doing our strap. First off, we want to do the end. That's right. Triangle there. So it doesn't bulk up. Check on the other side too. Move past where your triangles are, you cut triangles afterwards either way. Hi Chewy, banging all things with your tail. Exactly good. 
history. What, Schubert? That one, that's crooked is all good out. Let's try that again. Not run over the cord. I'm not worried about getting rid of my crate my crazy not folding up folding it that far, so we're gonna fix that in a second. I'm sure I'm getting my arm in, in the way. I have it all the way out pretty much. Alright. Creep like that. Okay. That comes the fun part. So, like I said, if you don't have iron, which this part going to be a lot easier. Or, you know, if you got hem tape, a uh, hem thing, then, you know, it might be easier. I don't know. I've used one once. Um, for me, this works. Those of you who can't get toys. Oh, I guess I should do that first. We want that one done first. Get threads all over my ironing board. Yeah. This is when I need like a teeny one of those teeny irons. That down. Ow. The water splashed on me. We'll fix this part, you know, later. When we're all done. So I'm telling the pleats on it a little bit. All right, so that gives us that one. So we're gonna try to do this all at once, make life easier. So you don't have to sew as long. Oh, 
all that. Let it match up to your mask. Same with the other side. So we're gonna go a little further on that one. Dole lemonade crafted with so try not to run over your juice. Our yeah, lemonade your is unlike the bowl. rest. You already have Don't there. just take our word for it. Keep Head going. to your neighborhood Publix and try it for yourself. Available at Publix. Make sure this doesn't go Publix. over the fold. Where shopping is a pleasure. Need a sleigh that delivers same day? Count on Shipped for contactless shopping from your favorite local stores. From fresh groceries to unforgettable gifts, Shipped's expert shoppers bring everything to your door with care. Whatever your holiday memories are made of, Shipped delivers. Fine. Make sure when you're doing this much, this part, zoom in that these line up pretty close in your iron. You want those to be pretty even. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it, you don't want it, you know, too much of a drift. We're going to re-iron our center one, make sure this all lines up, let's do it this way so that I can make sure I'm doing it correctly. And the ironing thing really does make it easier. You do have a little bit of pucker here, so because of the pleat. We're almost done. The ironing is, you know, it's gonna take longer than to sew it. Oh, well, we got elastic. Take a little second. And that's gonna be easy, though. We're gonna try to cheat with the elastic and not have to do things twice. Just make sure your fold lines up for your sew line over here. And 
and it'll drift a little bit. But you're not gonna make that big of a deal. Just make sure you're not going past your circle. That's all that matters. And if you do go a little bit past, I mean, you can always trim it. Alright, so. This. Actually, the finished edge of the fabric. Nice, nice straight line. Hey Bryce, come here. What? You can tell my screen who just followed. I'm not saying what you're looking at. Oh, hey Susie. I don't think she's oh. watching. So, I have an idea. I just posted a thing on Facebook. That's trip logs. But my name will be the Okay. Well, I was going to tell them a thank you and decide that, you know, maybe I could do it in the family chat. I'll be cheesy about it. I'm close to a third. I don't really know. Uh, That's why I'm almost. excited. That when, when you told me what your sister's response was, when you told her about Twitch, and she's like, what the hell is Twitch? Right. I'm like, um, so there's a lot of people that don't know what this Twitch thing is. And I thought I'd post it for, you know, my family and people who actually look at my posts. So that they know what the hell it is. And hey, they know I'm an introvert, and they know I don't contact people very often, and this will be one more way that they can, you know, occasionally jump on and say hi to me. Right. And actually get a verbal response from me. Hey! <laughs> so, verbal response, yeah, that'd be good one. Uh, I thought uh, some of them might actually be anxious. I am close to down. Do you still want to work in the bathroom today? Okay, so, when I'm done, I will log uh, off instead of doing any more masks. And then we can work on the bathroom for us again. Even if we don't get a whole lot done, you know, we can get uh, six tiles and we'll do progress, finish the floor. Finish the floor, maybe do the wall. We should go do the floor on the wall. Should we? We're going to take this couple out. Yeah, well, it's still early. So now I'm going to fix. What I just messed up in my hair. Um, you know, there's a reason why irons have a little curved area. I'll probably end up fixing it again when it's all done. my pleats are good. I'll fix it after. Okay. Now let's move this out of the way. Now is when we put the elastics on. I'm not sure how to do this. I know how I did it, you know, when it was already made. It's a little different when it's, you know, not been made yet.
So uh, we're on the inside still. So. Oh, I don't want to do it that way though. I show them well. I'm just going to do a little back and forth. I catch my elastics. Oh, how close to it? Do it kind of close to your folded edge. Because you don't want it to interfere with any sewing you're doing. Because then it won't stretch right. And I'm not doing the elastic on the press ball. You don't want that elastic to kind of go into your chin or anything, really. All this is for is so you can have it around your head better. Person. Where we live off the grid. Problems, Love the off the grid parts. But with Wi Fi. Whether off you're the grid with Wi Fi. Huh? Occasional glamper. Ascend offers low rates and flexible terms on RV loans. <laughs> or any of our branch locations. RV loans. Like a Ascend Federal Credit Union. said it this way before, so bear with me. I'm going to do it, make sure it's on the same side. I'm going to touch the other end over here. You don't want to quite go all the way to the top because you're going to you don't want it sticking out more than likely. Unless you do, I mean, if you want it sticking out, you want to be able to adjust it or something. I suppose you could do that. Or you could put a string in there and make it adjustable. Well, I don't know. I'm just doing the elastic. I suppose you can do your ear piece this way too and just you know, make this one piece. We're going in a little ways on the elastic so that to make sure it doesn't pull out.
And you can do a zigzag stitch over if you'd rather. That doesn't really matter. Switch over. I think it's going to work for me. I think the straight stitch will hold better, but. You want to make sure it's you know flat. You know you want it to be fairly straight, shooting you know, like a round or something. You don't want it to be like, twisting in there. Look, actually it drifted sideways a little bit, so it makes a uh, It's kind of a big fat thing there. And you see, look, see after a while it comes undone like that. So that's why you want it on the inside, especially if you get this. Alright, so theoretically I now have to do the elastic. You can do it afterwards, but you kind of have to either leave this open, oops, leave this open a little bit right here, or cut a hole, which would be easier to just leave it open. And then stitch it afterwards, you can do that. If you don't want to have to deal with stretching it while you're sewing. Which, we're gonna find out how that works. Yes. Hi guys! What's up? I'm gonna knock over my boards. All right, let me pet Chewy. Let Chewy over here. Move, Coda. Let Chewy over. Come on, Chewy. Chewy. Come here, Chewy. Chewy over here. <laughs> Come here, Chewy. They're trying to get in on the uh, camera action. Alright guys, I'm almost done. Alright, so we want to sew from the front side. So I'm going to start look here. Yeah, a little 
myself in the back. And you want to try to keep the elastic. You don't want to stitch over the elastic. So you want the elastic to stay close to the edge. Once you get your first stitches in, you should be good. So I'm going to start. Edge. That's where our back force stitch is going to be. And you're going to be one kind of close as far as the board. Yeah, watch well, it be just the last few stitches where I have to fill the bottom. So when you're doing elastic, oh, I've got to try this. Okay, so you leave your needle down when you're turning, lift the hammer foot, press your foot, okay. All right, so when you're doing elastic, you want to stretch your elastic and keep your fabric straight. Unfortunately, it's gonna tug on here. So it's gonna be a little difficult to start. Once you're started, you can grab your other end and then just let it be. Make sure you're hitting your fabric. This out of the way. And then when you get to here, you don't have to worry about stretching anymore for a minute. And you can pin this if it'll help. It'll really help. And just make sure it's tucked in there. So, when you're stretching, you're going to have to hold the end. Hopefully, you missed that. That way, if you ever have to replace it, you don't have to unstitch everything or as much. So I got one side with elastic. Now I'm sure they're a little shorter. So you have to figure out how. Oops. So may not be enough of a stretch. I may have to undo this and pull it tighter. But you know it'll work for now. Now I'll do the other side. 
Now, if you don't want to do the elastic, you can just do the elastic out and make your life easier. Right side, get more elastic. This holiday season, give the gift of fizz with Bubbly Sparkling Water. Refreshing flavors like cherry, lime, and blackberry. Bubbly is the perfect holiday mixer. Stop by your neighborhood Publix and grab some Bubbly Sparkling Water today. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Available at Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. One taste of Nespresso Virtuo's exceptional coffee. <laughs> When you do your turning, make sure you're from Alex M. One taste and you'll discover yes. what your needle is actually in the thread or in the fabric. All right, let's see if we can pull this with the thread. So that'd be another reason why you want it not to be stitched in. That if you don't, if you don't do enough, you know, it unstitch the end and pull it tighter and restitch that part, so that you don't have to worry about get a. If it's not tight enough, or you know, it's like. If uh, you know over time the elastic gets you know, gets tired, you can stretch it some more. All right, now we're getting to the elastic. This did I? Yeah, it looks like I did accidentally twist that one like twice. So you just have to deal with it because I'm not going to fix it at this point. show you a little bit more so it's so mist right there see it's kind of open and normally it's a little easier to fix you can just go back and forth but with elastic I decided that I just wanted to get the elastic part over so you could just go back and forth while you're stitching All fixed. Well, 
I just didn't pull out a bunch of thread. And there you go. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so if you want to add a piece of metal to the top, wire or a nose thing. Do you have nose things? I don't know if I know where they are. No, I don't know. So you can use wire or whatever. There's little nose things you can buy that are self sticking. Okay, so we've got one of these. You can decide how long you want it. Some of the iron again, don't I? So all I really did is I made a slot along. So it's removable. And you can always do something softer for this part. Because it is going to be on the nose. You can use like flannel or something. You can use the same fabric. Same thing, nice ends. If you use wire, I recommend folding the ends of the wire with you know, platinum. So you don't get like jabbed in the face with wire. I didn't want to do it that way. Hmm. Alright, let's start over. One moment. I want to make I wanted that before I ironed it, not after. Okay. Well, after if I paid attention to you know, what I was doing. And because I don't want them to be sticking out when you try to fly the wire back and forth, I'm actually going to stitch it. Or, you know, your other thing. So. It's about halfway. We want to start the back side.
down a little bit. This might be a little short for the middle piece I have. I can be sure it is. I have a string, she's happy to do that. Three inches! What a concept, okay. Let me see it down. Approximately center. Just a little bit extra because it will get a little bit more views going back and forth and stuff. When you replace wire or whatever nose piece you have. Having you know, a little bit of a fold there. Maybe it's so good about halfway. I think I like get lots of extra room. Guess what? I'm out of bobbin thread. For the last little bit, I knew that's what I was When you want the food you serve to be as special as the people you're serving it to. And you have been using Jimmy Dean's sausage and your holiday recipes for a long time. We thank you for that. And a happy holiday. Dole Lemonade. Crafted with real sugar and lemon juice. Our lemonade is unlike the rest. Don't just take our word for it. Head to your neighborhood Publix and try it for yourself. Available at Publix. Publix, where yeah, shopping fill the is bottom closer. really quick. Show you the last little bit. As far as I know, all machines have bottom to Why? It's right there. Mine isn't. Doesn't work all that great. So sometimes I have to make sure it doesn't evenly. I don't like to. Sometimes I'll overflow because they're adjustable. Ah! 
<laughs> or, you know, do that. I've had a bit of practice. Then, with your top thread, just stitch it down, pull it up, and most all things work that way, so it's pretty easy. Alright, let's get this finished. really close to the edge on the bottom of this. If you can't, that's fine. This will be the worst. So we're going to take some abuse. And that will allow you, you can put your piece in this way or on the back side depending on what you prefer. Oops, fire mat to make it look nice and neat. So let's fix this up. And this basically when when you wash it, this will get all flat in the center. All you have to do is just kind of do this. You can do this part you know, kind of separately. Just kind of iron it nice and flat. Not glossy flat. But here we have. A mask. So we can aim the other light over here. So a better view. Hit the camera. But got the mask. And you can wear. And the reason why it angles on the top so that It, uh, it can actually aim it at me. So. <laughs> I haven't actually had to try to tie it with the last of them. Eh, get my hair. Yeah, it might look a little longer, I guess, but it goes there really nicely. Under your chin, you can loosen a little bit so that you can breathe. But yeah, that's not bad at all. This is a bigger style mask. You also, you know, maybe do that. I don't know. You get some air in. But that's how I think it should be tied. It's like this. I think it holds a little bit better. Less likely to have problems. Get my cord in the way. 
my glasses, but you know, it works. And you've made it yourself and you can make it money you need. You can have one for every day. You can make it match your clothes. So, and then you can leave it tied, pulled off, if I cut my hair into it, and just start back on if you need to. And so we have a mask. Um, thank you very much. I'm gonna go work on the floor now. Well, it's getting late. I don't know if he still wants to, but we can go work on the floor. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and thank you for watching if you watch afterwards. Follow if you can, please. That way I can make some money out of it and you know help pay my bills. I don't have to, you know, try to get another job or something. Alright. There's my Phoenix, my sister Katie. So I can have it on there crooked, but Thank you and goodbye.